Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gorn. In today's video, we will talk about solving quadratic equations with checking. In this video, we will talk about this problem or these two equations. We will solve them and eventually, we will do the checking because a lot of students are requesting, Sir, paano ba check yung isang quadratic equation or yung roots ng isang quadratic equation? So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here the first problem x squared minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. So as you can see, uh, this one is a very simple quadratic equation because our main focus natin dito is to show you how to check whether your answer or the values of x are correct. So here, in our 6 here, so we need to figure out the factors of your 6 first. Kasi madali lang naman to guys because the coefficient of your quadratic term of x or x squared is x is 1. That's why the first terms of your factors must be x and x. So main problem natin ito. So you will think of the factors of 6. This is positive 6a. Eh? That can give you the sum of negative 5. So dalaw dalawang pares na naman ng factors niya are 4. We have, I have to start with 1 times 6 followed by 2 times 3 pero kapag inad all of this the product is 6 pero kapag inad natin siya it, it will not give you negative 5 the other pairs ito po siya negative 1 times negative 6 is still positive 6 but hindi na tayo may mabigyan ng negative 5 as, as sum so the other factor is negative 2 times negative 3. So here, definitely, negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6. Negative 2 plus negative 3 is equal to negative 5. So definitely, ito yung, fact, ito yung magagamit natin. Negative 2 saka negative 3. So these are the factors. What's next is we will equate both factors by 0. We have x minus 2 is equal to 0. x minus 3 is equal to 0. Transpose natin yung negative signs kabila. It will become x is equal to positive 2 or 2. Next, transpose negative 3 to the other side. It will become positive 3. So these now are the roots of the quadratic equation. Ngayon, as what you are requesting guys, checking tayo. Ganti pagawa ng checking. So itong ginagamit ko, checking. Now, how to do the checking? Go back to the original given quadratic equation. We have x squared minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. Kapag checking tayo, we will substitute one by one the values of x here na nakuha natin, 2 and 3. Okay, dapat masatisfy nyo to or dapat kapag pinalitan natin yung value ng x dito, it will become equal to 0. Try natin. First, your x is equal to 2. Ito muna gamitin natin. That is, this is your x, ha? We will replace this, 2, and then square. Sundan nyo lang yan. Next is this. Negative 5 times your x. Kasi ito, x kusama niya. Times 2 plus 6 is equal to 0. Then simplify. This is 2 square is 4. Negative 5 times 2 is negative 10 plus 6 is equal to 0. So dito, pag simplify natin to 4 plus 6 is 10. 10 minus 10 is equal to 0. So 0, because 10 minus 10 is 0, is equal to 0. As you can see, they are equal. Ibig sabihin, tama yung value ng x natin dito. Let's do the other one. After x is equal to 2, we have x is equal to 3. Using the same equation, ito, x square, it will become 3 square. 
minus 5 times 3 plus 6 is equal to 0. 3 square is 9. Negative 5 times 3 is negative 15. Plus 6 is equal to 0. As you can see, when you add 9 and 6, that is 15. So minus 15 is equal to 0. So simplifying this, it will become 0 is equal to 0. And this is now correct. Meaning your x is equal to 3 is a root of this quadratic equation. So let's move on with the next example. In our next example, we will talk about this problem wherein this one is a rational equation that can be transformed into quadratic equation. So let me read the example. x over x plus 3 is equal to x to 8 over x plus 6. Actually guys, uh, we can solve this using LCD pero pwede rin tayo cross multiply. Ito ah. You can cross multiplication, you can do cross multiplication kapag tag isang fraction lang tayo magkabilaan. Okay, I hope naging clear tayo dun. Sige, let's try cross multiplication. Ito unahin natin. Okay. We have x times, ito, x plus 6. Okay, is equal to, huwag mo nyo, nyo, nyo nang i-direct ang i-multiply. Then this one, or this two, we have 8, 8 times x plus 3. So, what, so you can see, meron tayo itong parenthesis, meaning we will distribute this inside. x times x is x squared. x times 6 is plus 6x. Then equal to this 8 times x is 8x. 8. X. eight times positive 3, that is plus 24. So you would manipulate the equation. Ako, uh, I will do uh, the transposition method. This positive 8x, transpose natin. It will become x squared plus 6x. From positive, it will become negative 8x. This one will also be transposed here. Magiging minus 24 is equal to 0. Simplifying these terms, combine natin sila. We have x squared. This is negative 2x or minus 2x. Minus 24 is equal to 0. So, as you can see, meron tayong quadratic equation in standard form. All we need to do is to factor this out and eventually solve for the value of x. Here, as you can see, this one is negative, meaning, expect nyo na, ano, the factors are in different signs. Tapos, dapat magbibigay siya ng negative 2. So, to make it quick, the factors of this is x minus 6, x plus 4 is equal to 0. Check natin ah. Negative 6, 6, negative 6 times 4 is negative 24. Negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2. So, tama tayo. Now, let us solve the value of x equate by 0 trans is equal to 0 transpose this to the other side your x is equal to 6 next transpose this to the other side x is equal to negative 4 now for the checking maraming siya nagkakamali dito using the original equation let's do the checking Original equation, x over x plus 3 is equal to 8 over x plus 6. First value, x is equal to 6. Ito muna tayo. Lahat ng x palitan natin magiging 6 ito over 6 plus 3. 
Now, kabila naman is equal to 8 over, this is 6, 6 plus 6. Simplify that is 6 over 9 is equal to 8 over 12. So as you can see, it seems like na hindi sila equal. Pero, ito siya. Pag simplify niyo yung 6 over 9, that is 2 thirds. And when you simplify 8 over 12, that is also 2 thirds. So as you can see, they are equal. Hindi kailangan maging 0. As long as maging equal yung both sides, okay na yun. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Lagyan ito ng separation. X is equal to negative 4. Your X must be negative 4 over negative 4 plus 3. Is equal to 8 over negative 4 plus 6. Simplify your denominator first. Negative 4 over 4 plus negative 4 plus 3. It's negative 1. Is equal to 8 over this is positive 2. As you can see, this is not equal, but divide natin. Negative 4 divided by negative 1 is simply 4. Positive 4. It's equal to 8 divided by 2, that is equal to 4. So as you can see, they are also equal, meaning both of our answers are correct. So I hope guys you learned something from this video on how to solve quadratic equations as well as checking your roots if they are the real roots or the extraneous roots of a given quadratic equations. So again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Marami marami salamat. Bye-bye!